Welcome back, TCGPlayer.com. I am Conley Woods. This is round three of our Metallurgic Summoning Dynavolt Tower Blue Black Control Brew. We're on the play. We're going to keep this in. It is sweet. It's got a lot of cheap cards that do things early. One of the, uh, we're going to say no here just so he doesn't know what's in our hand. One of the things our deck has to struggle with because we're blue black and because language rotated is we don't have a lot of ways to control early uh, populations of aggressive creatures. So it's good that we were able to sneak out of that last one. This person is playing red, which could also be indicative of small creatures. I'm not going to cast any of my collector brutalities just yet because I want to give an idea what they're doing. They could have a creature that we want to kill. I just want to get a little bit better. I might want to kick it. That's a little bit better of an idea of what we're up against. Could just be blue, blue, red, uh, fevered visions. In which case, horribly awry becomes an easy card to throw to a collector brutality. Yeah, it's probably what he is. So at this point, I very likely wait till turn five to cast my first collector brutality, um, and then I just arrest him with that. I don't I can't imagine he casts fever visions here, but we'll see. Maybe he does. This is going to be another kind of grueling match, but as long as I don't let Fever Visions resolve, I should be able to win. I guarantee he's got a Fever Visions and a bunch of instants in his hand. Start weeding them out. <coughs> You don't want to pitch Horribly Awry here to drain, even though I think Horribly Awry will probably be a dead card in this matchup. Uh, you don't want to pitch it to drain here. Um, specifically, oh, he's got Gear Hulk. So he is, hmm, he's not Fever Visions. He's just Shout Shoto's List. Uh, I don't know why I put him on Fever Visions. I guess this is more likely to be popular. The Bombardments don't do anything. The Distinction... Disintegration and Radiant Flames doesn't do anything. So I'm just going to take Painful Truce because it's the only card here that does anything. Uh, and the rest of his hand is pretty dead. So we should be able to win this one relatively easily. Um, cause he's got a bunch of dead cards against us. He's playing a mid-range control deck. We're playing a hyper control deck. Uh, and he's just not going to be able to answer any of our stuff. Dynavolt Towers and whatnot. Yeah, here we pass. We're going to save our Collector Brutality for... Yeah, I don't know why I thought Fever... Oh, does he not have six? He doesn't have six. I don't think he has Counter Magic, but we'll see. We know, like, most of his hand. Put both these on the bottom. Dynable Tower, acceptable. These horribly arise are not acceptable, but what are you going to do? If he slams Gearhawk, we obviously got to counter. The thing we want to use our golf shores for this game is to actually, um, actually, let me do this first because I know this is going to hit.
All right, so I'm going to take his Torrential Gear Hulk. We're going to take Unlicensed Disintegration because it's the only thing that really matters here. I guess Radiant Flames kind of does, but... And then we're going to get that Gear Hulk out of his hand. So we still got nothing going on. We have uh, engulfed the shores to deal with nothing. <laughs> it would deal with a, a creature land, which is kind of nice, but that's about it. And his hand is just dead to us. He's got four dead cards and an unknown. Oh, well, that's about the best possible thing you could have drawn. Did he keep that land or did he draw it randomly? He put bottom top, so we don't know. It's almost certainly he'll find to shoot him here for three, but because. Oh, actually, one more does get me there. Okay, I have eight. I thought I had seven. Ooh. Sure, I'll cast that. Let's me cast Engulf the Shores for not much value, but <laughs> that's fine. We draw. Uh, that's fine. Neither of these cards are that good. So training for a mine rot there is not actually that bad. Now I just got to peel card draw. He has four dead cards in his hand. Radiant Flames, two Galvanic Bombardment. That was a good one. And a Unlicensed Disintegration. They're going to become live cards as I start making cards with Metallurgic summons, Summonings, but, you know, that that's not neither here nor there. Um, he's not getting real value out of them. He's, he's trading for... Triggered abilities. Oh, I actually should play this just in case he draws another mind rot. Wait, is that main deck mind rot? It's kind of crazy. I just realized that's a main deck mind rot in in his deck with Gear Hulk. I don't even know how he fits in it. Is this painful truth? I'm counting the heck out of this. Oh, another mind rot? Sure, I'll counter it. Obviously, the main reason to counter here being that you uh, you get energy and a 3-3, so he's going to use one of his removal spells to kill the 3-3 now. But we get a little bit of value. Turn our Void Shatter on our 2-for-1, that still generates us some energy. Is he not going to kill us? He should kill us. Yeah. Radiant Flames is not what I would have used. I would have used a Galvanic. A couple Galvanic bombardments, probably, but that's fine. Ooh, that's a good one. Finding a Glimmer of Genius would be insane here. Torrential Gear Hulk would also be good. Sure. Uh, Dynavolt Tower is not the best. I probably should take the Engulf the Shore here. Actually, actually, it should be Dynavolt Tower. If nothing else, Dynavolt Tower is another artifact for metallurgic summonings, and the Engulf the Shore really isn't good. It just bounces Torrential Gear Hulk, which is not. It bounces my Torrential Gear Hulk, which would be nice, but I have to draw that thing first. I'm going to play this because of his Mind Rots. We've seen two of them already. This blows my mind. 
confirm suspicions would be the best possible draw. It would put four artifacts into play and let me sacrifice my allergic summonings immediately. Right now we're basically in top deck mode. He's got two dead removal spells for the most part. And then whatever he just drew, which is what he's contemplating. I, on the other hand, have no cards in hand, but way more value on board for anything I draw. Well, that's three... <laughs> three artifacts from my allergic subs. I thought about playing with a prismatic lens in this deck. Or prophetic prism. Is that what it is? I don't know. Whichever one. We'll go I think it's prophetic prism. I thought about playing with that just so we can get to my allergic summonings a little bit easier. I'm just going to keep playing my lands because of uh, Mind Rot. Yes! Wow. Uh, I got to play this now because of Mind Rot and because I have so much mana too. Both on bottom. <laughs> please. Please. Ooh, confirm suspicions. Metallurgic Summonings is about to go off in the control matchup. This is exciting. I'm excited. He can uh he can't bombardment this because that only does one. So he's just gonna license this integration it. Cause in that world I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to confirm suspicions this. But maybe not. Maybe I'm supposed to let this thing die. If I confirm suspicions there, I'd probably win, but it... I'll get something with it that matters. Oh, he's tapping up right here. Okay, that works. So instead I get to counter something that, like he would have gotten an anticipate for something real here. We know two of the cards in his hand, or no, we know one of the cards in his hand is going to gob him. Gah! Galvanic Bombardment. Alright, he's countering here. So, what we were going to do is put a bunch of clues into play and a 5-5. Five five. Uh, he probably couldn't even kill the 5-5. Five five. I could also Dynavolt Tower him a bunch here. Um, and then, every time I've gotten Metallurgic Summonance, I've had three Dynavolt Towers, so it's kind of looked less impressive than it would have been. But if I didn't draw the second and third Dynavolt Tower, you could have imagined uh, me just casting Confirmed Suspicions here, getting four more artifacts, um, and then potentially just sacrificing this and dr drawing my Graveyard. But we're going to go to the sideboard where we get way, way better against him. Take out these horribly arise. He probably gets better against us too, but I think our deck is just so well built for this particular matchup. Cut all these bad cards in with the spells, in with negates, in with collector brutality, two pick the brains, summary dismissal. That's 60. I think that's all I need. I could bring in this confiscation coup. I don't think I need it though. Actually, it might be better than a dispel. Uh, dispel's so cheap. I kind of just like this particular setup. I think I just rip apart his hand and then just win. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep this as is, uh, and we'll be right back for game two of round three here with our Dynavolt Tower Metallurgic Summonings dot deck. All right, welcome back to game two of round three here with our blue black control deck. We're gonna snap keep this hand. We have three lands, including Collective Brutality, multiple counter spells. He's probably not likely to even do anything in the first couple turns to affect us. He might have um, hand disruption if he's lucky. Play this because it's my only land comes into play tapped. Notice our man has been pretty good, even with engulf the shores and five non islands and only nine black sources and then plus the four evolving wilds. It's worked out pretty well. 
kind of expect him to just put a land and play tapped and pass here. But if he has transgress, yep, that's what he's doing. We're going to fire off Collector Brutality immediately. Because he can't, he's not likely to have a counter spell for it. And if he does have any counter magic or um, hand disruption, I'll, I'll preemptively take that off the table. And my void shatters aren't up anyway, so. I'm pretty positive we'll get something here. Alright, so he has multiple mind rots. Uh, I guess I take the void shatter. He mind rots me. I discard because I have to. Uh, probably land void shatter. And then I untap the void shatter back. I want to keep this torrential gear hulk if I can. So yeah, I take this... If he had one Mind Rot, it definitely would have taken it, but I, I can't avoid Mind Rot, so I'm just going to discard Void Shatter, Swamp, play an Island, pass. He's going to try to Mind Rot me again. I'll Void Shatter that. Uh, and then I'll try to recover with Glimmer and Torrential Gearhawk. Alright, there's step one is drawing a fourth land. And his hand was Thing in the Ice and Unlicensed Disintegration, neither of which are that scary. Um, even if Unlicensed Disintegration kills Gear Hulk, it's going to have cast Glimmer of Genius first. Yeah, it's fine. Ooh, you don't say. Take that mine rot right out. Even with a couple of bad cards. Now we can use our Void Shatter on something relevant or save uh, our turn for Glimmer. You know he's got a land. He didn't even play a land. He kept his land. He kept small. That is surprising. Do this now because of the scry. I discarded my swamp, so I don't have another one. Imagine he wants to attack with no. He doesn't want to attack with Shimo. I was wrong. We drew Void Chatter. Drew Dispel. Okay. It's a good rip. Try getting an attack with Fumarol here, maybe. So that way he can't unlicense disintegration me. Oh, I'm definitely going to counter that. Um, I could Torrential Gear Hulk Void Shatter, but I kind of hit Glimmer there. So I think I'm just going to. I guess Void Hulk Shatter. No. It's actually not that bad. I hit this. He can't li unlicense disintegration me unless he has an untapped land. And then I'll, I'll have Void Shatter up for it next turn. And then I'll have to flip when he flips his guy with the bounce this, and then I can cast Glimmer. This might work out. Cast that on that. Uh, 
And I could have six. Nope, he's tapping mana. Oh, he drew a ceremonious rejection. So those things at one. All things considered, not the worst. His unlicensed disintegration is actually dead now. It'll flip his guy, but it'll bounce mine. And he actually can't race because he's starting an 8 life lower, so even though his guy's a little bit bigger. He can't void chatter. Um, he could have another removal spell, but I'll get a glimmer off of it anyway. Alright. <clears throat> he really can't counter this. Uh, he's shown Dispel and Ceremonious Rejection, either which hit this. Void chatter doesn't hit it. Uh, so it should resolve, and then he could dispel Glimmer. He's got it. Um, put this on bottom, this on top. Not the worst. Put him to seven. Leave open void chatter so I can counter something <clears throat> and get a dude uh, like this. I should probably just counter this. Why do I have to counter this? I'm just going to counter this. Doesn't feel perfect to me to counter this, but it gives me lethal, so he might leave his guy back. And if I let that resolve, there's a chance that he finds. I don't know. It wasn't the safest counter spell in the world. I could have certainly waited and played a little. I hope he's down to three, or down to four. Alright, Mine Rot's pretty good there. He certainly can't attack though, so we're not in a terrible position. I could put him to one if I want to. Ooh, that's kind of good. I only have three card types though. That part's kind of bad. Let's see what he's got before I. This is my third artifact from Metallurgic Summonings, which is. Reasonable if we draw a glimmer of genius or something, we can maybe get there one turn. He's scooping. He scooped to pick the brain. All right, I'll take it. We somehow went 3 0 against a uh, control deck, control deck, aggro brew. I have no idea how that happened, but I'll take it. Uh, and uh, please, if you enjoy uh, blue black Dynavolt Tower metallurgic soundings. Go tinker with it, because that was literally the first three matches I've played with that deck, and it turned out pretty well. Uh, so I definitely encourage uh, you guys to go mess with it. 
uh, maybe add maybe one more torrential gear hulk I could see. I could also see taking out the um, the uh, Aether the minus four minus zero, whatever that's called. Um, it was reasonable in the one matchup where we kept it in, I guess, but I don't know. It, it could it could easily just be in too much of a nombo with engulf the shores. Um, to keep around. But yeah, that is uh, that is all the matches for today. Thank you everyone for watching. Uh, for TCGplayer.com, I'm Conley Woods. Blue Black, Dynavolt Tower, plus Metallurgic Summonings, out.